Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the bottom right hand corner. And today we're going to be replacing the door lever pivot or door pivot lever. I believe this is what it's called. I'll show you my symptoms here in just a moment. So my symptoms I'll show you right here on the driver's side door. That part is fine obviously, but it's this right here. Let me zoom in. So you'll see how it just kind of sticks out a little bit right there. There's clearly something broken. Fortunately for me, it does still open the door, which is great. I'll show you inside the car here as well, but it's just, it's annoying because it definitely should sit flush. I'm going to show you inside the car. All right, so we're inside the car right now. Take a look at it again. You can hear my window. It's doing that weird window drop down thing. And then if you look at my passenger side door, it should be nice. Let me zoom in. It should be nice and tight. See, there's no play at all. I'm going to give it a little tap. So, something is broken. And I'm pretty sure it's that piece that I showed you. Fortunately for me, though, it still opens the door just fine so I can actually still drive the car. All right, so first and foremost, before you do anything, you'll notice right there that is an airbag for the side airbag. So before you do anything, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery first. To do so, it's right here on the driver's side. It's in your front, right here. Let's go to the front. All right, going to the front. Yeah, look at those struts. Just replaced those not that long ago. All right, so your battery is in here. This part right here should be pretty straightforward. Twist. Twist. Pull cover off. Alright guys, so the, the battery terminal, those are going to be 10 millimeters. This right here is going to be the positive, the red, and then this side right here with the little green stickers, this is the negative terminal. I'm just going to disconnect the negative terminal and uh, cover it up. That on there very tight. So pulling that off. I usually just like to use a glove or something. You're trying to make sure the contacts don't touch anything metal. Now from here, I usually like to go ahead and let me zoom out. I'm sure it's super close. Go back in here, just to make sure that there's no charge. So push the horn. All right, there's no power there. Good. All right, so this video is probably going to have a ton of errors just because I haven't taken off a door, uh, one of these door cards here in a few years. But this right here is going to be just like some uh, plastic trim removal type tools. This is going to be Torx. You can use whatever Torx iteration you have. Uh, I have these little Torx scru screwdriver bit thingies right here, so it's kind of cool. And I decided to go with a genuine Porsche or Porsche, I'm joking, uh, replacement part right here. But um, you can go with whatever you want. Mine was about 40 bucks. All right, so here's gonna be when you're gonna start seeing probably a ton of errors because I haven't taken off one of these door cards in a couple of years because if you follow the channel, I did the passenger side window regulator a couple of years ago. But anyways, I'm gonna start here. Get a little flat tip right here. I like to do it from the rear. Just try to be gentle with it as best as you can at least. All right, so for this one, you just got to get your fingers on it, push it in, and just going to pull it apart. You probably don't have to take this off, but I like to have more working space. All right, next, you get your little pry bar tool like this. Kind of wedge it into the door handle. I usually like doing it from the bottom just so you don't have any marring scars or visible marring scars. You're going to get the scars regardless. You want to be kind of careful. Let me zoom in. 
you want to be kind of careful just because of you see where the little tabs here all line up into the inserts and that's what's kind of holding everything in so go again take that off all right so next we're going to remove oh, what is this? this is going to be a torx 27. we're going to be using our torx 27 but it's kind of hidden inside here i'll use a flashlight for you here in just a moment you need two there's one right here and the second one is right in here Again, Torx 27 is the same fastener as this one right up top, which that's going to have to come off as well. Grab our flashlight. Hopefully, you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it now. So, there's that Torx 27 I mentioned. And there's one more right here. There you go. You should be able to see it in the frame. Back those both right. up. Just make sure it seats properly before you start doing it. It's on a magnet, hopefully this works. Put it in. Awesome. And just make sure they're the same fasteners. They look to all be the same. Perfect. All right, let's go over to the side right here of the door. Get your little wedge tool like this. Ah. There you go. One more right there. Take that one off as well. All right, so we're getting pretty close to being able to take off the door card. Go ahead and go up top right here. There is there's a fastener right here where I'm pointing to with my index finger. That is a Torx. Uh, hold on, let me zip it. Okay. This right here, this is a. Torx 20. Back that off too, and then you should be able to pull this little lever off. There's going to be one more behind this cover. This little plastic cover here, right here. somewhere safe. All right, I'm going to zoom in right here, show you a little trick. Got a new iPhone, so hopefully it's all good. Let's see if we, let's give it a push. It comes right out. Let's zoom that right there. My friends, looks like that is a Torx 27 as well. Now, you should actually have a better picture of why, not why, but look how loose this is. It should be nice and tight. So let's see what's up. All right, so next you can either use your plastic pry bar tool like this, or you can just use your fingers. I usually try to use my fingers, although it does kind of hurt, but I'm trying to not mar all of this stuff up and uh, get all scratched up, but it's going to feel, kind of, feel and look kind of violent and sound violent. Something broke, as it always does. Let's take a look. Show you something real quick. This is essentially what's held in around the door. That's why you got to give it just like a good grip and just kind of pull it out like that.
it's moving. Man, what is holding it on? I remember these cars just slide up or slide sideways or something. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it slides up. Um, let me move the camera. All right, this next part's gonna be a little difficult to film, but I'm gonna grab this real quick right here, just to show y'all. This right here, it kind of looks like a, a bicycle mechanism, essentially, you're gonna wanna disconnect it and then disconnect your harnesses right here and then the door card should be free. All right. I am gonna have to put the camera down because I can't really do this with one hand, but see that right there? I, w I wonder why it's not enough slack. Oh, I, s I see the issue. Plastic piece right there broke. I'll show you once I take this door card off. But uh, go ahead and disconnect your window switch right here. Disconnect that window switch and then there's another one down here for your Little, uh, little light down there and then this whole card should come uh, door card should come off or door panel I don't know why I keep calling it a door card all right so once again one-handed filming so be gentle but or be gentle on me but uh push this right here together Oop, nope up top right here together should release it oh right. just take the card off <laughs> there it is again take the door off Put on a workbench. All right, got all of it disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to my workbench so we can examine it a little bit more. Actually, well, let me get a towel. Hold on. All right, so this is the workbench situation. All right, so here's the door card. I can tell you right now, I'm pretty sure I know what the issue is. So if you look at the little mechanism right here, this little spring bit doesn't have the little plastic piece right here that's broken, so it can secure onto to apply pressure. So if this spring, if this was, if it was able to wedge on that little missing piece that clearly broke, see if you can get a bit, there it is. This piece right here that clearly broke. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna compare it to my replacement part too, just to make sure that my guess is accurate. But um, assuming it secures on it, it should, hold in place but let me go get my replacement part real quick all right guys so earlier in the video when I was taking off the door card I know I don't know if you guys heard me say I broke something I didn't break anything this was uh, this is the broken piece see it actually fits perfectly in here look at that it literally fits perfectly so that little ledge on there is what holds the spring and applies the uh, opposite pressure so I'm pretty sure that's the issue. I'm gonna go ahead and take these up, back these off. This looks like that's gonna be a Torx 20. One moment. All right, so again, this is a Torx 20. Let me see. I'm filming with one hand, so be patient. Excellent. Excellent. back that off here in just a moment so you can take all three of these off it should just come right up oh, I'll just do it with you in the camera there. okay out in just a moment all right so to take this off you have to kind of wiggle it upward like this as if you were pulling the lever that way and then you can get out of this little pivot pin right there all right, I'm gonna get my replacement put it right here right, guys I am glad to report that that fixed the issue check it out no more play see when you pull the door from the inside and it's tight Awesome. I'm going to put it all back together, show you the finished product, but uh, I don't think you need to see the rest of this because it's the same thing but reversed. All right, guys, I am pleased to share. Check it out. It is tight. No more gaps. 
We'll go ahead and wrap up the video. You can tell I'm just putting all of it back together. But if you like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is a pretty hard DIY to find. So hopefully it adds value for somebody. Thank you. See you in the next one.